Hi, welcome to Insectex IOS application penetration testing course. In this video, we'll see IOS architecture. As you can see in this figure, this is a high level diagram of your iPhone where we have iPhone hardware here on top of which your IOS operating system is running. As you can see in the figure, there are four abstraction layers uh, which are core OS, core services, media services and Cocoa Touch. So these are the four abstraction layers we have in IOS operating system. Let's discuss one by one in this video. So let's begin with core OS. This core OS contains low level features that other technologies are built upon. So in our applications, we being developers, we don't really uh, interact with this core OS layer directly because this, uh, this is being used by some other frameworks, right? And the next one is core services. Let's take a scenario where you want to save some data in a database with your application. In such scenarios, SQLite library lets you embed a lightweight SQL database into your application without running a separate remote database server process. From your application itself, you can create a local database file and manage the tables and records in that file using the SQLite library. All right, and if you take iCloud storage, it, it lets your applications to upload documents onto iCloud storage directly. So this is being taken care by core services layer. And you can see the next one is automatic reference counting. I have a separate slide for this. I'll show you, uh, I'll explain it in a bit. And these are the frameworks, these are, these are the some frameworks being used in this core services. As you can see, address book framework, core data framework, core location framework are few frameworks which are actually associated with core services layer. For example, uh, let's take address book framework. Uh, if you are developing an application which requires to access the contacts on the iPhone then you need to use this address book framework. So you can actually go ahead and see this in your Xcode. Right? Uh, this is my Xcode IDE and you can see this linked frameworks and libraries. There is an option here in your Xcode in my application which is Vulnerable Application 3. I can actually add any framework I want. For example, in our case, we are using, uh, we are discussing address book framework. You can see this. You can simply select it and add it into your application and then use this framework in your application. Right. So let's go back to presentation. And the next one is automatic reference counting. When developing iOS applications, uh, using Objective C, if you create an object for a class, we have to explicitly specify when to retain the object and when to release the object. We need to evaluate the lifetime of the object manually and we need to specify this is when I want to retain this object and this is when I want to release the object. So we need to write the code for this retaining and releasing. In iOS 5.0, this responsibility has been moved to compiler by introducing a concept called automatic reference counting. So this automatic reference counting is a compiler level feature that simplifies the process of managing the lifetime of Objective-C objects. Instead of you having to remember when to retain or release an object, this automatic reference counting evaluates the lifetime requirements of objects and automatically inserts the appropriate method calls at compile time. So this is what your automatic reference counting is. Now let's have a look at uh, one of our applications to see whether ARC is enabled in the application or not. Right? Let's have a quick demo of it. Let's first open up a terminal and log into your iPhone using SSH and enter the password when it is prompted right now as of now you don't need to worry about uh, doing this demo practically you just watch it and uh, once after entering into the pen testing videos you'll be able to do this comfortably so I'm first navigating to the location where 
the applications that are downloaded from the App Store will be installed. So this is the location uh, of the applications which are not pre-installed. Right? I'm now finding out the location of the application Vulnerable App 4. This is already installed in my mobile, so I'm just finding out the location of it. Alright, I have got the location. Great. Inside this, I have, as you can see, I have Vulnerable App 4. App. I'm navigating into that. As you can see, Vulnerable App 4 is the binary which is there inside this location. So this is what I am looking for. This is the compiled binary. Now this binary will be in macro format because all the iOS executable files will be in macro format. Now I am going to look at the headers of this macro file using a tool called OTool. This OTool is uh, actually given by Apple. So this I am going to use this OTool to look at the headers of this particular executable to see whether ARC is enabled or not. Right? The command I'm going to use is otool hyphen i hyphen v and the binary is vulnerable app 4 and it gives a very big output so I'm just filtering it because I would I just wanted to see whether it is using ARC or not. So I'm just filtering the output to see if it is having any such strings like object release. So if, if I get this particular string in the output, yes, ARC is enabled, automatic reference counting is enabled. If not, it's not enabled. So let's pre press enter. As you can see, uh, the output has object release as we expected. So in this particular application, ARC is enabled by default Xcode enables ARC you don't need to explicitly enable it when you develop an application using Xcode by default ARC will be enabled right so let's go back to our presentation and the next layer is media services layer so as you can see it provides iPhone operating system with audio video animation graphics capabilities so you are able to watch, you are able to embed a video or audio into the iPhone that's possible using media services layer. Similar to uh, other frameworks that are being embedded into your Xcode, these frameworks also can be embedded. Uh, let's see this media player framework. Let me go to this linked frameworks and libraries. Add. If you type media, you can see there media player dot framework you can actually use this framework to develop applications that needs this media player framework right and the next layer is cocoa touch layer so this sits at the top of the iPhone operating system stack and all the frameworks in cocoa touch are commonly used in iOS applications if you see this UI kit framework most of the time we'll be playing with this UI kit framework uh, to add a button to add a label to add a text view whatever you want all these types of you know actions in your iPhone applications need this UI kit UI kit framework so this is uh, the few basics about your iPhone operating system architecture so that's all I have in mind for this video. Thanks for watching it. Thanks a lot.